Hello, I'm Dr. Harold Burkhart. I'm a pediatric cardiac surgeon at Mayo Clinic. I specialize in complex surgeries for infants and children with heart problems, including HLHS, or hypoplastic left heart syndrome. We have an experienced team that performs the sequence of three operations used to treat HLHS. These operations include the Norwood procedure, which is usually performed at one week of age, the Glenn procedure, usually performed at four to six months of age, and the Fontan procedure, which is usually done when the child is about two years old. We are also part of the HLHS research team here at Mayo Clinic. This team includes pediatric cardiologists, cardiac surgeons like myself, researchers, and other members of the Mayo Clinic staff. We're focusing on developing innovative new therapies for HLHS. The following animation will tell you more about the current clinical trial that is underway at Mayo Clinic. It involves utilizing the baby's own stem cells from umbilical cord blood. Please contact Mayo Clinic if you'd like to know more about our experience with HLHS and the work of our multidisciplinary HLHS research team. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome, or HLHS, is sometimes diagnosed before birth during an ultrasound examination. Repairing the heart involves three surgeries to redirect blood flow through the heart. Mayo Clinic is currently conducting a clinical trial that involves injecting stem cells into the heart muscle during the second of these surgeries. With the parent's permission, these stem cells are collected from the baby's umbilical cord at birth. After the cord is separated from the baby, but while it is still attached to the mother, a needle is inserted to draw blood from the cord. This cord blood is collected into a sterile bag. The first surgery happens within a few days of birth. Meanwhile, the baby's cord blood is sent to a laboratory for processing. The stem cells are separated from the rest of the cells in the blood. Stem cells have the potential to become different types of tissue in the body. The stem cells from the baby's umbilical cord blood are frozen to preserve them. Before the second surgery, the baby's stem cells and clinical case will be reviewed to see if he or she is an appropriate candidate for the trial currently being conducted. If so, during the second surgery for HLHS, when the baby is around four to six months old, with the parent's permission, the stem cells collected at birth are injected into the baby's heart muscle. Stem cells are capable of emitting growth factors. The hope is that they will stimulate dormant cells in the baby's heart, causing them to reproduce. The goal of this research is to discover whether this therapy can increase the volume and strength of the heart muscle, giving the heart greater durability and more power to pump blood through the body. Contact Mayo Clinic to learn more about research into the use of stem cell therapy in the treatment of hypoplastic left heart syndrome.